Hey guys, we're playing another TGC Tours Dream Team contest course. Today it's Big Sky Creek by TJ9798. He's representing the blue team. Uh, formerly known as Tanman9798. He had a name change earlier because his actual first name is TJ. Um, well, hyphenated obviously. Or, sorry. The two letters, but... Hang on. We have a putting green on the roof of the clubhouse. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So yeah, he used to be he used to go as Tan Man. Now he's TJ. So if you're trying to figure out who he is, that's who he is. Very cool. Kind of got a bit of a, I don't know, like Tahoe kind of feel maybe? I'm not sure. I mean, that the, the, the green on the top of the clubhouse is, is quite the touch. Kind of got a bit of a fall look to it. All right, so what are we doing here? Yeah, th this, I mean, the planting is really well done. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get sick of it at some point. Um, we'll see. This is the short way, I guess. Not the easy easiest opening tee shot you're ever gonna face. And even doing that, we've got two bills in. Okay, well, I was complaining last hole. I, had, I didn't have any uh, long irons into par fours. <laughs> this hole said, okay, well, you're going to have them now. Yeah, I'm going to need a couple holes to see how I feel about that grass. The draw, yeah, the, I mean, the render distance is a pain in the ass. A lot of um, courses with, whoa, slower greens in this contest. I, yeah, I'd, I'd have to remember. <laughs> that was That was a long time ago I played that now. Very cool environment, like very, so hang on. TJ's was Stout County, right? That was his. So he had that one complex on that course, just that four, I think there was the, the few greens kind of around each other. That was an amazing kind of four hole stretch he had. This reminds me of that. Cause yeah, with the rocks. Yeah. So he did this at, um, count or Stout, count Stout, Stout County. Whatever the hell it was called. And then the way the creek's going. I mean, there's some serious stuff he's done here. Um, creating that creek was no joke. I'm sure of it. Oh, that's right, too. He had Vikingsklubben. Vikingsklubben. So he knows how to create an environment, that's for sure. Nice putt. Back pin is dice. Oh, shit. There's a pin right there, eh? Yeah, that would be a bit on the rough side. Especially given that it's a good 30 yards longer. If maybe not, if not more. Uh, the other thing we know about TJ is he's not afraid to make the, the course difficult.
I mean, the, the, the looks from the tees are great. Um, yeah. The rocks down here. Hmm. C cool that we can see this other green. This is kind of a sucker hole where some people, it's gonna, people are going to mindlessly take the driver at it, and that's really not the play. Again, I like that we're dropping off into fairway. There's a, it's kind of narrow and there's the drop off left, but you got help right. So you just need to know not to miss it left. I think that's reasonable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, what are my options? Can't three wood over here. Which might let me get driver up there. Gives me an angle. I can try and hit driver here. Which isn't really much shorter. Hey there, Focal. Or Falco. Sorry. I'm going to try and it dry. I'm curious what's going to happen. I have no angle now. All right. Heads up front bunker. This is where this is going. Oh, no, we got over it. Wow. I'm surprised by that. Um... Secure this is a curious one. Especially when you've got the green angled this way, the hills, I mean, everything is begging for this thing to get fed in here. But to go here you have to you have to do three wood. Driver goes through. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's an that's an interesting way of doing it. I just, I just feel like most people are going to take driver over here, and all of this here is going to just not get used, which is going to be really unfortunate. Because how many people are going to hit to there? Especially if it's downwind. There's no way you're ever carrying that thing. Like, there's no way you're hitting a drive here. Yeah, that's, I, I just, I feel like there's a great design here that because of the way that this gorge is, is here, it, it's never, it's not going to get used. So you're going to do what I just did. You hit it over here and then, um, and that's kind of the, Danger in cutting off a fairway on a par five. People are going to hit driver. Always. Yeah, it's, it's kind of narrow too. I didn't think of that. I just was thinking that I, I don't want to hit three wood. Hmm. Now, I mean, it's entirely playable over from the right. It's just that. The way that the hole was created, you don't play it that way. 
something seamount yeah how's it going buddy it, it, it the shot that everyone's gonna play actually goes away from the way the green was designed so either the fairway needs to be f like I, let's go back where is it here So to me, what would make more sense, if you're going to keep, let's just say we keep the green like this, then the creek needs to be, you carry it here or something, and then it goes that way. So you've got your safe three wood over here somehow, and then you can try and take driver over and then you've got that run in there and maybe you need to make the hole a touch longer so it's not a pushover but greens mirrored then carrying the creek is the hero shot yeah so one of the two needs to be done yeah, exactly. I agree with what Mark's saying there. They they do. They do contradict each other. Um, and that's where I was in the green. I was just looking at it, and I was, I was like, this is curious. Because, it, yeah, you're never going to play to here. But that's how the hole's designed. Especially these bunkers here as well. You hit it over here, those bunkers, you don't ever see those things. So it's just... Yeah. Oh, the creek is a great looking. It's just the way from playability... Now, what would be easier, flipping the green or flipping the this? I don't know. But I, I also feel like if you're going to take it over the water, then that should be your your ideal second shot, right? Laying it up. Mm, yeah, okay. We set it. Well, and again, you know how I feel about people declaring a best play, right? But I, I wouldn't hit three wood there. Never. <laughs> I just never would. Um, It's a par five. I'm not hitting three wood on a par five unless I absolutely have to. Hey, Lucas. Oh, I've played too many too quickly, Fal Fal um, Falcos. I can't remember. So you're looking at making it a par four? Okay, I can see that. He does big back it up with a beefy par three here. Um, If he's got a pin here, or a pin here, this crescent area would be a little concerning to me. Because you could very easily find yourself having to splat, like chip one across. Um, it's been going. This is really deep. And it's not a short par four. Hmm. Or par three. I do like that that ridge is on the left, so it's going to funnel the ball towards where the hole is. So you can just run it in here. Stay up. And don't stay up. Just, yeah, just go ripping past. Yeah, I can see how the, there's slope here to feed it to this pin, which is really quite cool. And yeah, if you hit it here, you've hit a crap shot. But just being, I, I trying to avoid that kind of stuff would be handy. There's courses you haven't played yet, Scoot? Jeez, that's surprising. Oh, wow. Do I want to see more of this or not? I don't know. Like, as in, from here, do I want to be able to see the green a bit better? I'm not sure.
Ah. The idea here was three wood to run down the hill, but I haven't pulled it off. Ah, uh, that, that would have had a chance to. Oh well. And then playing out of the rough. Yep, that's fine. No problem with that, I hit it in the rough. A very creative par four. I wish I'd played it better. It's a really big green, but the way that the hole is created, I think it works. Oh boy, 102 feet down, eh? See, he, he, here's my concern. There's a fairway over here that in theory we, we should be able to play to that I'm not sure how far downhill it is to, the, to here. You might run through. And there's a tree in the way of it. Now, I maybe go over the tree. I'm not entirely sure. But again, I'm not sure that I'm really wanting to go that route because... I can hit it forever this way and arguably get a better angle at it. I'm not sure why there's fairway over there. You mean like this? I was looking at going left and thinking, why would I go there? Oh, now there's a tree in my way. Great. We can take it over the tree, though. Oh, we're into this, the weeds. You can go over that tree. Yeah. Okay. But why is it there, then? Like, it just doesn't... Where's the T? Back here. See, I'm standing here and I'm seeing room here and no room here. Cut off angle for less club, but okay. Yeah, my concern too is though, is how can you hit it through that fairway? Because my guess is you probably can. Which is why I went over here. So I think this tree needs to go. Even if it's not in the way, it just visually is in the way. I don't know. I'd have to play that one again. Alejandro, what's going on? Okay, yeah, this is this is too much downhill too quick. Um Visuals, yeah, I don't know. I, again, you guys know how I feel about trees, so let's, you know, let's get that out of the way. Was this the second part three you've played? Uh no, it's the third. Okay. Oh, that's right. There was that long one. But it's the second, like, shortish one that's way downhill. Oh, thanks, Swind. Appreciate your help.
I just it, it just feels a little like we've already gone down a hundred feet and now we're going down 65 it just feels a little kind of forced that we've got and so what I'm really gonna be looking for now is going back uphill and it looks like we are here a little bit at least some cool camber up here Yeah, Creek's great. And where I, where I find myself with um with TJ's courses is that there's a lot that's done really really well when it comes to, like the creeks and the walls, a lot of that de intricate detail stuff. He does it so so well. There always seems to be a hole or two though where I just kind of go, "Oh, I'm not sure about that." So I think he's really really close. I'm not at all surprised to have, for him to be in this contest. He's just that little step away from the elite in those because of that and ah and once he gets like once he s really solidifies that or if he likes quirk then he's kind of always going to be there um but once he's once he's kind of tightened that part up then i mean there's gonna be some really great stuff but that that first par five it just being backwards it, it hurts a little bit um yeah we're way downhill again It is, but there's also an argument can be made that one can use significant elevation like that to do that, right? Like this hole didn't really make a whole lot of sense as 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 playing a par four. I don't really. Okay, we're heading back uphill, which is good. Like that was just a that last par four was a I don't know. Using scout cam? Yeah, well. I'm not known for uh my slow use of anything. Oh, on Baby Bull's course? Oh, jeez. Okay. I guess my question here is why is that bunker so far back? On what's a pretty short shot. Now, the grass, that brown wheat, whatever the hell grass... Yeah, I've basically forgotten about it by now. Yeah, and so is this the right hole for this bunker placement? Maybe not, because you're it's it's a short par four. Really. So you're gonna fly that easily. And then what's going on here? Hmm. I don't know. There's just cut the couple. There's just been a couple of elements where you're just kind of like, eh. I don't know if that fits. Uphill par three. Okay, good. Like that. It's well done. This looks really nice here. Like his, he's got the the environment, the framing, the views. He's got that nailed. Oh, okay, so there's, there's, he's got an inspiration for this. That makes sense.
I mean, I'm, I'm glad we're going back up the hill because I, that's one of my pet peeves is when you have a zillion downhill shots, but you never go back up. But 113 feet. Hmm. It's it's a bit of a risk to have this much elevation because if you don't pull it off, you really don't pull it off. Again, the, I mean, for being on the side of a cliff, this makes sense. The green is. F Quite significantly back to front, it should be. Uh, second shot ends up being blind because it's way up there. That's fine. Give him plenty of room for the ridge. When I'll, what I will say is this, you don't see, you see significant downhill holes, and you don't very often see significant uphill holes, and so I'm glad he did that. You just don't see, you don't see it very often. Designers often try to cheat their way out of having to go back up the hill, and so you've got a 100 foot downhill hole, and then you've got a 113 foot uphill hole. All right. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm wondering, Falco. Like, a hundred, hundred feet. I don't. I, I can't. I, I'm trying to. I'm struggling to figure out what a hundred feet is. Like nine or ten story building. It just. That seems like a lot. But maybe not. And then we're going way. Oh my god, we're going way downhill here. All right, let me know when this one stops rolling. Four bills. All right, well, let's see what happens with this. I don't mind the green being small at all, like it should be. And it rolls off the back. Okay. Yeah, you know what? One par five like that? Okay. Two of them? Hmm. Having the wind help was was certainly helpful, <laughs> but I didn't even look at where the layup would be. I should have. If you missed the fairway, you'd have to lay up, right? I wondered where. And then another massive down. So, yeah, it's just too much. Another way downhill par three. I, that's three significantly downhill par threes I can think of. A 90, well, almost 100, what was it, 90 feet down? I can't remember now. 
Well, bye bye. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice that. The green's here, and then you gotta go all the way up here to go down here again. Hmm. I do like that we've got this ridge here so that if you roll it down the hill, it doesn't just keep rolling off to oblivion. I thought that's what was gonna happen. Um. I just think there's too much elevation change overall. I think it just feels a bit forced. I think you could get very similar, if not better, results with half as much elevation. Hmm. So... Going right gives you the better angle, and bringing, but it brings the water into play. I was thinking this might end up being short enough it doesn't matter that much. I might be wrong. Eh. And honestly, this angle's fine. To this pin, at least. Oh, crap. That's no good. Uh-oh. Rock. Yeah. These rocks are too close. And keep running off into a rock. It's just too close to the playing area. Hmm. No, that was a bit of a stretch there, Tyson, but okay. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Patrick. And then we go back uphill. Okay. Yeah, this one will be um, a bit polarizing, I imagine. There will be some people that really enjoy some of the shots you're playing, and then there'll be some that are kind of more like me that are like, eh, it's a bit much. Oh, clubhouse? Eh. I mean, I hear ya. I'm not that... I'm, I'm really getting nitpicky if I'm gonna worry about clubhouses. Um... Are there... Is, there's like... Minimal to no difference... Oh, it's a... Is there a little bit of team manipulation going on here? Is that it? Yeah, the long, so number 16. I I think it's, all right, so elevation-wise, yeah, I think it was a little bit too much. I would have preferred to have seen maybe half as much, and I think it would have worked a lot better. Um, I think there was just a couple where it was just, it was just too much. Um, I don't really love the idea of having two par fives that basically are, and I mean, am I, am I remember correctly, like we had a way downhill par five followed by a downhill par three on both sides. Like both, they're significantly downhill. Yeah. 
So I... I'm not sure about that. Um, nitpick is four par fives and a par 70. I, I just would rather have two, but that's a nitpick. He just has more par threes as a result, and that's fine. It does kind of feel like the same nine played twice in some ways. It's only 6,700 yards. Wow. Um, yeah, so I think a little bit too much elevation change. This hole here just doesn't work. It's, 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 that's what she said. Um, it's just it it's backward it, it, it does it's like it's like a it's like an Aztec it's like a Pontiac Aztec this hole right the front and the back don't fit like they got designed separately which is actually what happened with Pontiac Aztecs that's why those things look so weird um and so because i mean and that just in in a field of the strength that this contest has that that hurts um, the environment is fantastic. The planning is fantastic. That creek on the front nine is wonderful. There's so many great things about this course. It just gets undone a little bit by going a little bit too far in a couple of areas. And I don't know if it's just because it's you enjoy it, or I don't know if it's trying to make a statement. Um, if it's trying to make a statement it's usually not going to work by doing extreme things. It's usually doing all the little things fantastically well that, that does it. But the reason I'm spending as much time here is it's, it's close, man. Like it, there's, there's some serious potential for this to be, um, for this to be a really cool course. It just needs a little bit of refining and a little bit. I don't know. There's, there's some similarities between this and stout as well with, with all the rock work and everything. Um, and the downhill par threes there. Mm, it's close. He's not far away. He's just not quite there right yet. Um, man. I could see a lot of people having fun with it. All right. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Hit like, hit like so more people can see the great courses these guys are creating. Uh, I'll be back with another TGC Tours Dream Team playthrough in the near future, but for now, cheers.